Oh, hello, uh, YouTube and uh, Ham Radio uh, Facebook chums. Uh, I don't think there's a single video of this uh, bit of uh, KW kit on uh, on YouTube, so um, I thought I'd post one. It's Steve uh, G3 ZPS here, restorer of old Ham Radio kit and refurbisher. Uh, this came to me, it's March 2018, this came to me last week uh, from a silent key sale. It's a KW Viceroy transmitter and it's called the Mark IV, made in 1964 or 1965. Um, and they made these transmitters before KW uh, moved the smaller G-Line series of transmitters, receivers and transceivers of which I have just about every model. Um, this is a ham radio transmitter covering 80, 40, 20, 15 and most of 10 meters. A pair of 6146 is pretty classic. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, There were four, four different uh, maybe even five incarnations of the KW Viceroy transmitter. They started in the era of uh, era of big bow tanker AM transmitters in the late 50s. KW, the Vanguard, the Valiant, the Viscount. Um, <clears throat> so they made them big. If I pan to my KW201 receiver alongside it, you can see how big it is. Uh, there was an option uh, in the Mark IVs, as far as uh, me and my uh, KW collector chums can work out, that it could be put into a smaller case and the power supply, which was or could be fitted internally, making a big heavy beast, uh, could be put outside of the case. And this is such an option. This, this one has that option. Here's the grey box with the KW power supply in it. A nice little grey box, which well, is quite a big grey box in fact. Um, the chassis which is inside that box would have, would have been or could have been inside a bigger uh, case for the Viceroy, but one of my friends has got one, um, an earlier version of the Viceroy with the power supply built in, we think it's a Mark III, and uh, it's extremely heavy and cumbersome, whereas this one, if you unplug the power supply, the transmitter is relatively lightweight. So I've got it paired up with the KW201 receiver here and which works very well and uh, what one thing that um, KW didn't really get sorted out until the Mark IV KW Viceroy uh, was the ability to change the antenna from the transmitter over to the receiver. This Mark IV has that, it's got an extra Belling Lee connector on the back. Um, I don't know why it took them so long to do it. The earlier versions didn't have it and it was probably because they couldn't get hold of a relay with enough contacts on it. It's a huge post office 3000 style relay in this radio. Um, I've recapped the power supply and I've changed some capacitors in the radio electrolytics. There aren't many. Um, and done all my usual checks of resistors and stuff and most of them, are, unlike other KW kit, are pretty close to, uh, to spec. And at the end of this video, I will just briefly um, show it transmitting. I get 100 watts out of my modified KW um, meter, which is now PE measures peak power. Um, they recommend a crystal mic for this radio. And I have such a crystal microphone here, which I've used with other KW kit. I don't know how long I've had it. Possibly 50 years since I was a kid. Uh, this Viceroy is in exceptional condition. It's not been allowed, left in a dusty corner or damp corner and left to rot and rust like so many. I believe the owner moved on to other KW equipment and then dry stored it and covered it. Just a bit of tarnishing here and there on the relay and the power connectors. But apart from that and changing a few components, once I've done the power supply, it came up. So there you go, that's the KW Viceroy Mark IV. The Mark I, I had one of those in when I was a kid in 1971, a young radio ham. And that's um, a very strange early KW transmitter. 
Uh, then came the Mark II, which fixed some of the problems of the Mark I. Both of them had a big external power supply. The Mark I was huge. Then the Mark III and the Mark IIA had, um, we think, an internal power supply. And then the Mark IV had the uh, aerial changeover facility and nobody's quite sure when the blue front panel were, whether it came with the Mark IV or whether it started before. Certainly it looks like it came with the Mark IV. And by early 1966, this bit of kit was absent from all KW adverts. It was a bit of a, it was from a bygone age by 1966. So there you have it, the KW Viceroy uh, SSB transmitter. Thanks very much. See you later, uh, chums. So here's a quick check of the uh, of the KW Viceroy uh, transmitting. Turn up the audio again. It's into a dummy load. Put it into transmit. There's the anode current. Uh, test one two three four. Hello, test. Hello, test one two three four. Uh, and on the top there, that's a hundred watts uh, full scale. So it's about. Um, one two one two about 85 watts so uh, maybe i'm going to fraction more out yeah there we go about 85 and 90 watts on my uh, uh peak hold watt meter so that's the kw vice for on 80 meters uh working uh, pretty much to uh, specification thank you very much cheers